Hello, my name is Sylvia Jabet. I work in developer relations at Africa's Talking, and I'm going to do a code walkthrough of how to use the Africa's Talking bulk SMS product, that is the bulk SMS API. In this tutorial, I will show how to navigate the code of how to basically just send a message bulk SMS. I will be, I will be using JavaScript, Node.js for this demonstration. And so it will be assumed that I already installed the necessary packages. That is the Africa's talking package and the NPM package. That is why the node modules folder and the package lock JSON and package.json files are already installed. Our main files will be the app.js file, the index.js file, and the dot environment file. So first in the dot environment file, as you can see, it's where I will store my variables such as the port, the API key and the username, just so that I can easily access them in my code without retyping them at each time. These three are essential for my code, although you can have more variables or more elements in your code depending on what you need. And next in my app.js file and in my index files is where we actually have the code that will be running. The app.js files, as you can see, will basically be testing that our code is running and it will be using the port which was identified in our dot environment file. That is why it's being called from process.env.port. And once it establishes that, it will log onto the console that it's running on the local host with that port number. That being the message that is going to be displayed on our console on successful running of the code. In the .n file, you see we identified our port as 3003, and so it should read running on localhost 3003. In the index.jx file, we actually have the code itself that will be running. So first, we need to do the authentication, that is establish the constant uh, that our credentials are. That is the API key and the username. This will be found from your dashboard, as was explained in a video that is linked in the description below. In our environment file, I have defined my API key and my username, which I will call in the constant credentials. And those ones will be permanent for this particular code. I will also require the Africa's talking package, which I had previously installed. I will then define that I am using the SMS product by declaring a constant SMS, Africa's talking.sms. Then I will now create a route for posting, which is now sending the actual message. So when I call sms.send, I will have three main elements. Who I am sending the message to, that is a number, the message itself, and the NQ property. So who I am sending the message to will be a number, and I need to start by identifying the country code. So it will start with whatever country code you have. In this case, it will be plus 254. The message itself is the text that should be received by the person on the other side. In my case, I just said today is a good day. And our NQ property is set to true, which is a binary, uh, bina a binary value of one. Then once that is sent, you'll get a response and we have the response being logged onto the console. So in your console, you'll be able to see details of that transaction and whether it was successful. In case of an error, we will catch the error and again, log the error so that you can be able to easily troubleshoot and get your code running. I will also set a route for my callback. Uh, it will be a delivery callback, which I will be able to monitor responses whenever the message is sent by, by getting a delivery message upon sending. So from my address, I will add a slash delivery to it. Since the initial route, from the initial route, I'll just add a slash delivery and that is where I'll be able to monitor my responses and whether they were delivered. And I will be able to show a status of success and the message will say that the SMS was received successfully. And this way I can be able to monitor successful sending of messages. Those are the main files, the app.js and the index file. We can start the terminal so that we can have our code running. So I have started my terminal and what I will do, because I am using JavaScript, is I will use npm start to run my code. And as you can see, since we had defined our localhost port as 3003, we are lo it's logged onto the console that it's running on localhost 3003. That is it. That is the basic code overview. In the next video, we'll be able to see how to actually send the data using Postman and how to monitor reports. Thank you.